Hello everyone, this is your homeboy Larry Anila of the Atom Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. This afternoon at the Regents Park, after the bank holidays, here we are. I have another guest before you today. Can you please introduce yourself? Thank you. My name is Fasa Kenolua Kemi, a lesbian from Nigeria. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Tell us briefly about yourself. I'm a lesbian from Nigeria. I was born in Lagos, but I grew up in Edo State, Benin to be precise. Yeah, I moved to Benin with my grandma when I was told my parents died. So I actually grew up in Benin. Being a lesbian from Nigeria, growing up in Benin City, what's your experience like? Okay. Yeah, my experience was very bad. So it was not um, a really a good one because I was I was in the closet because there is no one I could talk to about it. So no one even understand the pain I was going through because they don't really know what I was passing through. So to me, I was even when I'm alone, I cry sometimes. I, I was raised from a Christian background and uh, from a Christian home. So I can remember even my pastor always says that lesbian is a sin, that anyone involved in it is, is a dead person living in a human form. So it was so scary, like even from the authorities, from the society. So it was not really, really good. So being a lesbian from Nigeria, you have to hide your identity. So you don't have to be opened. You, you, don't, you can't even say it to anyone because you're going to be persecuted. So it's not really easy. Now, if I may ask now, Kemi, as an individual, I would like you to, to shed more light about your sexuality in your family. How did you cope with that pressure? That was a very good question. Yeah, I can remember even like, if you have to be a lesbian, you, don't, you can't say it to anyone. So to my family, I have to hide my identity. So they don't really know who I am. So they don't really know what I am up to. So I just hide my identity as a lesbian. But it got to a point because I am a lesbian, I am born to be. So there is nothing I can do. I can change that aspect. So I was involved in a relationship. I was with my partner. I was having that girlfriend. But something happened along the line. So we were actually caught. So everyone now knew about my sexuality. How did you come out of it? Living with your grandma and the kind of feelings that you were having? Yeah, living with my grandma, that she was really good. Just so this aspect of identifying myself as a lesbian was just the issue. So, like, it was after I was actually caught with my partner, and so everyone knew who I am, so what I, what I was up to, what I was doing. So after then, she had to tell me, for you to get out of this mess, you have to get married to a man, you have to go into a man, so to clear the mess, so you can be free. You are now in the United Kingdom. Can you share what your experience has been like? How has life treated you in the United Kingdom as a lesbian? Yeah, as a lesbian in the UK, uh, for the first time I came to the UK, I seen like being a lesbian is not actually a cause, it's not actually a sin, it's just a way of life, a normal life just live your life the way you wanted it so i can live freely here in uk like i'm proud of my sexuality i am proud to be a lesbian i go to jay club and we go to the meetings i go to the mcc the fellowship so being in uk is really 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 good and i've been hoping 
and I'm proud, I'm really proud of it. I'm glad for you. You've been open in the United Kingdom, unlike back home, back home where yeah, you have to live in the closet. Yeah. Now, early this year, there was this coronavirus yeah. pandemic lockdown. Yeah. On this program, we've had people sharing their experiences with us. How did you cope during the lockdown? Because you spoke about going yeah. out to GAY. Yeah. So the lockdown, how did it treat you? Yeah, the lockdown was it was not really easy. At first, we thought it was a joke. Like, yeah, but Autumn Pride was there. So they were organizing a meeting on the Zoom. Yeah, oh. although I was not opportune to join the Zoom, but I was watching from Facebook and even MCC, the church. So they also organized a Zoom where you can also worship from and I was on YouTube watching those other lesbian program or the game so they actually kept me company. Mm, glad to hear that. I want you to look back at back home and here in the United Kingdom. Is there a message for people back home, especially those who think it's um, sin to be a lesbian or to be gay it's against the bible do you have any message yeah. why because um on this channel we've got viewers and subscribers all over the world and people watch it back home in africa right i want you if you have a message can you say it in your local language or pigeon english look into the camera and pass the message okay but yeah i got for my country people we say Make us like us for who we be, and not get choice. God already created us like this, so who not be to judge us for what God already created? I mean, why many churches dead there today? Some they wear trousers, some they wear earrings, some believe say that they tie hair, but us they believe in the same God. They know they judge themselves, so make us accept us for who we be, for who I be, for my fellow lesbian out there. Make us like us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kemi. The message from Kemi this afternoon is that do not judge because judge, God does not judge. Hence, accept Kemi for who she is. Here in the United Kingdom, she's been very open as you have heard her. Thank you very much, uh, Kemi Fashakin. It's been nice having you on this program. You're welcome. Uh, to our viewers, We've had, uh, we've been spending time with Femi, uh, Kemi Fashaki from Bini City, Nigeria. Uh, it's been nice having you. Keep watching, keep sharing, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Thank you very much. It's been your boy, Larry Aila of Art and Proud African LGBTI. See you soon. Bye.